Hey everybody, welcome back to another Krita tutorial series. We're going to do something a little different that I think everyone's going to really enjoy. So this series is going to be about making a custom pattern brush and to start we're going to actually make a specific one for this tutorial series, which is a chainmail brush. Uh, chainmail is co uh, commonly used in uh, medieval days as um, armor and protection and you can use it for decoration and other stuff depending on you know what you're making with it. So I have set up a creative file that you can download in the description below where you can follow along the tutorial series. You don't have to worry about making um, a new file or a arm or whatever to test out this brush and create it. So this video is going to be about setting this up and how this file works. To start with, when you open the creative file, it's going to be called demo art and this is how it's going to look. We have some layers and groups here. The first layer, which is the topmost, is going to be our empty chainmail layer. This is what we're going to be using to test out our new brush on. The second below that is a group called arm. I have the arm line art and the arm color. So in the tutorial, we're going to be picking a skin tone or whatever and putting that here. I left it blank so you can choose what you'd like. Then above that is the line art. So if you want to tweak the line art to suit your needs, go ahead. Maybe you want to alter it to more like creature type arm, which is totally fine. And the very last group layer is the body placeholder. So I have the body line art layer here and the blackout. And that's just so we can focus on the arm here. This is just a placeholder, nothing super fancy, you know, not the main focus of our art. And that's just the demo or the main creative file for practicing the chainmail brush that we make. Now we need to create a file to put our pattern in. So what I'm going to do, do is go to File New. I'm going to make this pretty big, 3600 by 3600 at 300 dpi. I'm going to leave everything else default, but you can always change the depth if you like and the layer and all the other stuff. But this is just my default. I'm going to hit Create. So now I have a square file, I have some layers to play with, and this is where we're going to be making our pattern brush. Now before we continue, I want you to make sure that when you download this file that we make a folder structure for. I'm going to save this. I already have a folder for brushes, so I want to save this in my brushes folder. If you don't have one already, I recommend making one, or at least making one folder where all of this is going to be, just so you can ex access it easily as we go along with the series. So I'm going to, just going to make this chainmail. I'm going to name it V01, so as we make changes, I may want to save a previous version while making the next. Well, I can also do this by having multiple layers. Sometimes. I may want to say different versions and then I can go back and edit those individually later or I may want to have different variations of the brush that we're making and this is how I can kind of differentiate between that. So I'm going to go ahead and save that. And now we're all set up and ready to go to make our chainmail pattern brush. So in the next video, what we're going to be doing is to actually start making the pattern. What I want you to do right now is to make sure you have your folder structure set up, you have your files for both the demo art that we're going to be using, and the chainmail pattern file that we're going to be using. Alright, so that's it for this video. Just very simple and focused on the introduction of what we're going to be doing and the file setup. If you want to follow along with the series, make sure to subscribe. And if you really want to make sure you don't miss any of the videos, make sure to hit the notification bell so when the next video in this series comes out, you notif you're notified right away. Thank you guys for watching. I'm very excited for this series, and I hope to see you in the next video.